that everybody's probably got a Gordy Howe story. As great a hockey player as he was, he was just an outstanding person. He was friendly and personable, willing to carry on a conversation with you. It wasn't just pass you off. I grew up in St. Clair Shores, about four or five blocks from Gordy Howe Hockey Land. He used to have a hockey school every summer there you know, when I was uh, a kid growing up and it was a blast. So I'm going through the drill and the next thing I know I'm being yanked back and the stick comes under my arm, across my chest and I look, turn around like who's messing with me you know and it was Gordy Howe and I'm kind of paraphrased and he turned around and he said don't try showing me up son. Lucky enough to meet Gordy one time the thing that stood out to me, other than his gentlemanly manner, was the size of that man's hands. He had some big mitts, and when he shook hands, you knew you shook hands with somebody. I grew up down the street from a grocery store he used to always go to at Long Lake and Telegraph, and all of my friends, all my family would see Gordy Howe, and I never had the opportunity until the alumni game at Comerica Park just a couple of years ago, and I went to shake his hand, and even at the stage in his life where he wasn't as strong as he used to be, he shook my hand and I swear it was sore for about 10 minutes afterwards. Big burly Gordy Howe still had to be helped out on the ice. Nearly broke my hand with one handshake the first time we finally met. I only got to see Gordy play once and that was at the All-Star game here. I'll never forget seeing Gordy play just because I had heard all about Gordy my whole life, you know. And um, I was thinking, you know, it's kind of going to be just a a, you know, a game where the other players were going to take it easy on him. He was an older guy, but he, you know, he still was playing hard. Watching him actually get to play with uh, play a line with the Detroit Vipers in '97. So, yep, yeah, I was there. I was probably uh, probably one of the youngest people to ever get to say he watched him play in a professional game. So, yeah, that was definitely one of the highlights of my life is being able to say I actually. Not only Matt Gordy, but got to watch him play. There was a special game, uh, Red Wing Old Timers, they called it. It was alumni. Uh, we're going to play the Michigan State college hockey team. And so uh, during the pregame skate, Gordy's going around. Third time around, Gordy comes along, and we say, hey, Gordy, how about autograph? And uh, he shot a stick full of snow right in our faces. And we just, oh, man, Gordy, how shot snow in my face? And that face full of snow from Gordy Howe has meant so much to me through my life. And I grin like a little kid every time I think about it. One night they were playing the Maple Leafs, and the Maple Leafs had a hard-nosed defenseman named Bobby Bond. And uh, Bond took Howe into the boards, and a pretty hard check. And people kind of thought, well, how'd he do that? How'd he get away with it? And it wasn't five minutes later that there was a tremendous crash one end of the ice and people looked up and there was Bond flat on the ice and uh, I think he'd caught one of Gordy's elbows. He was a wonderful man. He combined toughness and gentleness like no one ever did. He was unique and he was ours. Hearing everybody else's stories and all the other people talk about how he had a story very similar to this. It's, it's just you meet so many surface level people anymore with today's society the way that it is. We all try to do better and you can look at Gordy as an example of how you can be better. He was just a good guy.